Hi, my name is Andre Rink. Today I'm going to talk about getting rid of the synonymous squeak on a Tesla Model S. After approximately 100,000 kilometers, Tesla's control arms typically wear out. You can see here that both my front control arms are completely rusted and worn out. The ball joint is also worn out. I searched on eBay and Amazon and found the best deal on Amazon. I had a brand new OEM ball joints shipped within five days for about a hundred bucks each. I first took out the interior plastic covers to expose the bolts holding in the top wishbone on the control arms. I then removed the wheel to access the torque bolt that holds the ball joint in place. I removed the three associated bolts and removed the control arm. It needed a light tap with a hammer, but it was pretty easy to get out. After cleaning the rust out, I unpackaged the new control arms with the new bolts and installed the control arm in the reverse method that I removed them. I was really disappointed that after a test drive, my car still squeaked. I looked at the coil spring and tested it out by jacking the car up and down. There was a culprit. It was worn out and it needed to be replaced. One telltale sign was that my driver's side was about an inch lower than my passenger side. This is a sign that the coil spring was gone. I ordered the replacement coil springs on eBay for about 800 bucks Canadian, and it took about a week to ship. They came without the bottom wishbone, so I took my old one down to a friend's shop. He removed and cleaned it for me. I painted it with black caliper paint, which protected it and made it look really nice. There are five bolts that need to be taken off to remove the coil spring. One on the bottom, and a bolt attaching the brake line, and the last three on the top attaching it to the frame of the car. The coil spring pulls out fairly easily. Also remember that there is a plate that needs to be reinstalled between the car chassis and the top of the coil strut. I once again reversed the process, installed the new coil springs, put the wheel back on, and took it for a test drive. This time the squeak was completely gone. This solved the problem and the car should be good as new for about another 100k. Thanks for watching. Might as well jump.